Why do some viruses cause cancer? So my name is Mark Horswell. I'm a research technician here at the Mortgage Institute for Research. I work in the virology lab of Dr. Paul Alquist. Infectious agents, uh, bacterial and viral, are responsible uh, for about 25% of all human cancers. To date, there's about seven known viruses that cause human cancers. And the two that are most known are hepatitis B and C that cause liver cancer. And then human papillomavirus, or HPV, that our lab works on that causes cervical cancer. The link between viruses and cancer is not so direct or one-to-one. -one. Uh, cancer by itself, in its definition, is uncontrolled cell growth. And this uncontrolled cell growth is a rather broad term um, for a complex process of the cell going from a normal state to a cancer state. And the infection alone is only one component for cancer. In and of itself does not cause cancer. It's an initial infection that, for instance, HPV, that will um, express some uh, viral proteins that will mess up with the cell's normal maintenance of things. So the cell's ability to repair itself will be hindered by products from the virus. And given time, over time, when there's sufficient number of these changes, not just one, but several changes over a long time, these changes uh, cause a transformation of the cell, which we then deem as, as cancer. Uh, HPV research has been, has been a great success in the last 40 years. Because we found, as a community, found a certain cancer, cervical cancer, is caused by a particular virus, HPV. And that not only have we found this, but in, in this instance too, uh, the community has been able to develop a vaccine. Um, and so if you get this vaccine before you're actually exposed to HPV, this will greatly reduce the chances of, of cancer when exposed to HPV. When it comes to viruses and cancer, our goal, research community's goal, is to effectively diagnose, treat, and prevent all cancers caused by viruses. That's the ultimate goal.